My name's John Savali, and this is my friend Jackie O'Reilly. Hello, Eric Dunny. We're going to read The Three Little Pigs with you today. It is a banned book, believe it or not. Uh, the Three Little Pigs, fable version by Joseph Jacobs, published in 1890. Historically, this book has been challenged because of the violence in the story, including a challenge in Hawkins County, Tennessee, in 1893, on the grounds <coughs> that the book promoted secular humanism to impressionable young minds. Oh, is that right? Yep. I guess it was. They didn't want people getting, you know, why? No, oh, I don't know, Jackie. Most recently, the book was removed in 2003 from classrooms in Batley, England, on the grounds that the pigs <coughs> as food might offend the Muslim community there. A copy of the book does still remain on the shelves in the school library. So, let's read it, Jackie, okay? Mm. All right. You want to start it? Yep, I'm going to narrate it, and you are going to do the pig's voices, okay? Okay. Once upon a time, <clears throat> there was an old sow with three pigs. She had no money to keep them, so she sent them off to seek their fortune. Oh, poor little pigs. Yeah, look at them go, Jackie. See? Look at them take off. Oh, yeah, they look like they're really poor. Yeah, they are. The first little pig met a man with a bundle of straw and said to him, Please, man, give me that straw to build the house. Oh, boy, that's pretty stupid, building a straw. Well, he, I don't know, Jackie. Did it, okay? Okay, let's see what happens. So the man did, and the little bit pig built his house with it. Wow. Wow, I'd like to see that. Along came a wolf, and he knocked at the door and said, Little pig, little pig, let me come in. No, no, said the little pig. Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. Then I'll huff. And I'll puff, and I'll blow your house in, said the wolf. Look at that nasty wolf bitter Jackie. Oh, yeah, he looks really, really creepy. Ugh. So the wolf huffed, and he puffed, and he blew the house in, and he ate the little pig, the first little pig. Oh, poor little pig. Yep, that wolf got him. Okay. Boy, it's not See what happens to the next little pig. See that wolf? The second little pig met a man with a bundle of sticks and said, Please, man, give me those sticks to build me a house. <coughs> so the man did, and the little big pig built his house with him. Ah, look at those sticks. They're not going to hold up against that wolf. Well, I don't think so, Jackie. No, I don't think so. Look at them. Yeah. See that? Yeah. Now, let's see what happens here now. You might be right. Then came along the wolf and said, Little pig, little pig, let me come in. No, no, not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. Then I'll huff, and I'll puff, and I'll blow your house in, said the wolf. Look at that. He's looking. Yeah, he wants to get that pig. He wants to eat him, too. I think so. I think you're right, Jackie. Yeah. I know I'm right. <laughs> so he huffed, and he puffed, and he huffed, and he puffed. At last he blew the house in and ate the second little pig. Oh, yeah, there he goes. Look at that house fall down. Yep, sure did. Look at that nasty wolf. Yeah. Wow. Now, now let's see what happens, okay? third little pig met a man with a load of bricks and said, Please, man, give me those bricks to build me a house. So the man did, and the little pig built his house with them. Oh, that's a smart pig there, building it with bricks. Yeah, look at him build it. Oh, yeah. Now let's see what happens. This guy. Soon the wolf came along and said, 
Little pig, little pig, let me come in. No, no, not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your grouse in, said the wolf. Yeah, look at him. He's looking through that. Oh, yeah, he wants to eat that pig too. Well, we'll see what happens. Let's see what happens in the next page here. Well, he huffed and he puffed and he huffed and he puffed and he huffed and he puffed, but he could not blow that house in. Oh, yeah, he looks like he's out of breath there, doesn't he? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that nasty wolf, I don't think he's going to get that big. Well, I don't think so either. At last, the wolf stopped huffing and puffing and said, Little pig, I know where there's a nice field of turnips. Where? said the little pig. On Mr. Smith's farm, said the wolf. I will come for you tomorrow morning, and we'll go get them together and get some turnips for dinner. Very well, said the little pig. What time will you come? Oh, six o'clock, said the wolf. Look at that wolf. He's like he's just scheming to get that pig. Yeah, I know. Look at him. Look through the window. see what happens on this next page. Well, the little pig got up at five and he went to Mr. Smith's farm and got the turnips before the wolf came to his house. Little pig, are you ready? asked the wolf. The little pig said, ready. I have been and come back again and I got a nice thought full of turnips for my dinner. Look at he's already boiling the turnips he's making his dinner. Yeah, he's smart. See what that wolf does again, huh, Jamie? The wolf was very angry, and then he thought of another way to get the little pig. He said, Little pig, I know where there's a nice apple tree. Where? said the little pig. Down at Mary Garden, replied the wolf. I will come for you at five o'clock tomorrow morning, and we'll get some apples. Look at him. Yeah, he's a real slime. the next morning at 4 o'clock, and he went, went for the apples. He wanted to get back home before the wolf came, but it was a long way to Mary Garden, and then he had to climb the tree. Just as he was climbing back down with his basket full of apples, he saw the wolf coming. Little pig, the wolf said, you got here before me. Are the apples nice? Look at him. He's looking at those apples. Oh, yeah, I could tell he likes those apples. And the wolf? Yeah, and the pig. Yes, very, said the little pig. I will throw one down to you. And he threw the apple as far as he could while the wolf ran to pick it up. That little, that little pig jumped down and ran home. Yeah, that's the way to do it. I'm smart that stupid wolf. The next day, the wolf came again and said to the little pig, Little pig, there is a fair at Shanklin this afternoon. Would you like to go? Oh, yes, said the little pig. When will you come to get me? At three, said the wolf. Yeah, he's scheming again, doesn't he, Jake? Yeah, he is. Yeah. He wants to still get him. Well, the little pig went off at two o'clock and bought a butter churn at the fair. He was going, going home with it when he saw the wolf coming. The little pig jumped into the butter churn to hide. The churn fell over and rolled down the hill with a little pig in it. This frightened the wolf so much he turned around and ran home. <laughs> Got that wolf again. Very smart pig. Folks, let's watch. Let's see that pig. Later, the wolf went to the little pig's house and told them what happened. A great round thing came rolling down the hill right at me, the wolf said. Ha! <laughs> I frightened you said the little pig. I went to the fair and I brought a thought of butter churn. That when I saw you, I got into it and I rolled down the hill. The wolf was very angry indeed. I'm going to climb down the chimney and I'm going to eat you up, he said. Oh, look at that wolf. When the 
little pig heard the wolf on the roof. Look at him, Jackie. Yeah, he's getting ready to go down that chimney. Yeah. Watch him get this. He hung a pot full of water in a fireplace. Then he built a blazing fire just as the wolf was coming down the chimney. The little pig took the cover off the pot and in fell the wolf. Yay! The little pig quickly put the cover on again, boiled up the wolf and ate him for supper. Oh, way to go. He got revenge for his brothers. Yeah, it looks like he did. Look at he's boiling that wolf up. Yay, yeah, he's got him good. Yeah, he's boiling him up. Get him ready. Now let's see what happens here. There's one more page in the story, Jackie. And the little pig lived happily afterward. Look at him. He's having a good time. Hoeing and raking his garden. Oh, good for him. Yay, the big one in the end. Yay. <laughs> so you had a good story, Jackie? Yeah, I liked it. I like it that the big one in the end got that stupid bull. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You sure did. Well, so ends The Three Little Pigs. A band story. Can you believe it? Yeah, I can't believe that. <laughs>